In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to apply behaviors to your text and images in Camtasia Studio. Okay, so all you need to do is to start by opening your Camtasia. I've just opened mine and import some media into the bin, into the media bin. I've imported a video and an image. Now what I want to do, I want to insert a text, something like an intro within the timeline. Okay, so I have dragged the video and put it into the timeline just like so. And I want to add some text and then put some behaviors to see how my text is going to behave through the timeline. So I want to add it at the beginning, something like an intro so I can come down here and hold down the shift key and use the playhead to drag and move it to a little bit away from the beginning to give a room for the intro. So the next thing is to insert a text. How do I insert a text? I can come to the annotations over here and you can see different kind of text that you can easily insert into your timeline. So assuming I want to go with this simple text ABC, I just drag it and drop it here and I can extend it to fill up the beginning to the end. So it's just filled up the available gap. And now I can double click over here and write my text or I can come over straight just like so and write my text, double click here and just write the text. For example, I want to put something like Epic Mentorship. Okay, so I can adjust my text size from the edges or the length. So it just filled up just like so. And I can use it to drag and change the position by just clicking and just moving around within the canvas. Okay, so alternatively, you can see the properties of this very text over here. So you can change something like the color you can play around with the coloration but i think i like it in white because it pops up clearly and then you can change the font style like right now the default is montserrat i can change it to anything like american typewriter i kind of like this very well and then you can play around with the sizing as well you can increase or decrease the sizing i think i prefer it at this size and then you can check out the styling. You can underline if you want, and you can change the alignments to center, left and right. You can do all that from here. The vertical and horizontal spacing, you can increase and decrease both of those accordingly, okay? So you're free to just give it a try. And if you don't want to, you can always return back to zero in cases when you want to return to the default. Okay, so you can see the theme over here. You can manage theme if you want. And once you set the properties over here correctly, the next thing is you can drag and drop the behavior. So to put in a behavior on a text, you can come down to the behaviors over here. You can see the behaviors tab as you hover over any given behavior. You can see the preview of what it's going to do to your text or to your media in general. So this is drifting. What drifting does is it just appears just like so, stays just like so, and then move out just like so. As you hover over, you'll be able to see the feature. Okay, so you can see explode, explodes in, and then it explodes out. Okay, you can see fade in, and then you can fade out. You can see fly in, and then you can see fly out. Okay, it just does that. And I kind of like this jumping because it jumps in, and then it continues to jump, and then it jumps out just like so. And we have pop up also pops out. Okay, so very nicely. So just feel free to give it a try and just hover over anything. You can see reveal is kind of nice. And this scaling also is good. I kind of like it. And then you have shifting. Okay. So you have to just exploit on your own. So what I like is this uh, jump and fall. So you can just drag and drop any behavior into the timeline, into the text we are testing. And you can access its properties from the properties panel over here. You have the behavior in terms of what it does when coming in and then what it does during its stay on the canvas and then what it does as it's going out you can define all that from here so let's start with what it does coming in the default is it bounced in and then the type is left to right okay it's going to bounce in left to right you can change that from last to first to random to simultaneous to left to right to right to left or center to out or out to center you can do all that from here but i think i kind of like the default from left to right and then what does it do how does it do what's the movement you can say bounce yeah it bounces or you can see is both is in is out uh, linear and smooth and spring you can change all this on your own but i think i like kind of like it to bounce as it is coming in okay and then you can check out the bouncing percentage you can increase the, the degree of the bounce by 40 percent or thereabout you can increase it 
and then you can offset the bouncing also if you want but then let's have a preview of what it does at the inlet point okay so you can see it just bounces in it just bounces in just like so and then what it does in is also controlled during okay so during what it does it just keeps on bouncing and then it's going to be left to right also and then you have the other features like the degree of the jumping and then the lapse time how much time will it take for the next alphabet to jump and the offset and the delay you can change all this and then the looping how long is the text is going to loop accordingly as it reaches the end of the alphabet is going to loop back again so let's say it jumps at the uh, during so let's see what it does during you can see it just keeps on bouncing during it just keeps on bouncing it just keeps on bouncing so it loops continuously it's just going to loop forever and then at the end of it all it now bounce out okay they now continuously bounce out so let's see what happens at the out at the out it say it drops okay so it drops out okay so all the alphabets drop individually from left to right and then you can see the movement is in quad okay you can change it to ease out if you want you can ease it out or you can bounce it okay or you may decide to change the direction maybe you don't want it to drop to the bottom you can drop it to left or you can drop at the top and you can see the example you can just go ahead and just try the dropping you see it is going to drop to the top just like so i think that kind of like look nice and fantastic so it's up to you to define how you want the text to behave at the inlet during and at the outlet you can set all these from the properties panel and if you like you can always click on this small arrow and you can see the effects that you've put what kind of behavior is there is it jump in or what behavior you can easily drag and drop another behavior and it's going to override that or you can add two behaviors at the same time okay so you can see right now we have two behaviors at the same time you can see their impact over here and all their behaviors at the inlet at the outlet and during this stage so you can try the two of them on the text and let's see what the behavior is going to be yeah so i think it kind of look nice so this is how to add behaviors in text you can always off any behavior from here if you want to off it you can easily off it or if you want to off both of them you can easily off and it's going to stay without any behavior attached so this is the first one how to add it on text let's try to add it on a, an image and let's see how it's going to behave it's kind of literally the same way so you can come back to your media bin and then let's say i drag this media and just drop it here and let's say we just extend it a little bit so that it fill up the spacing okay so let's get back here and we can drag it here we can select the text and move it by this side and then we can select the image and kind of drag it uh, to the side let's say we drag this to the side and make it a bit smaller and then we can bring in the text so it looks like a very good intro okay so you can see what we have okay so right now we can put some behavior here so you can just come down to behavior but then we want to put it on the image okay so you can just go ahead maybe you want it to fly in okay so you can just drag you can either put it on the image just like that directly or you can come to the timeline is the same thing so you can just put it on the image once you drag and drop you can see the image it's going to fly in and then the movement you can define it it can be linear or you can be easing ease out or smooth or spring or bounce you can check all that and edit accordingly and then you can play around with the speed this is at the end point at the during also you can say style what does it want what does it do you say it does nothing or you can allow it to jump or you can say drift you can allow it to drift and then you can specify the other properties as well and then the out point how do you want it to do and then you can usually i say it should drift out and then you can say to the bottom or something like that and then let's try to play and have an, a preview of what we just defined on the image okay so you can start it and see the image just comes in and stays and drifts okay you can see it drifts continuously okay you can see the speed of the drifting then it drops out okay very nice i think that kind of looks cool so you can enable the text 
also the text effect so that you can see the both of them working together so let's try it one more time okay the, the image comes in and then we have the text behaves just like so and then together they're going to move out this is the ending point this one moves up and this one moves down then you start your your video i think this kind of looks fantastic so you can just go ahead and give it a try okay so you can put both image or both behavior to the same media at the same time if you want to put it on text and on image you can put the same or different behavior accordingly as you wish you can assign the same behaviors to even normal annotations like arrows you can assign the same behavior to arrows and to even shapes if you have shapes you can assign the same behaviors to them for example this shape you can just drag and drop and you can see the preview of this shape by just moving the timeline you can easily come over and maybe put an arrow also at some point maybe we can put an arrow here and then maybe we can just put it at the top over here and we may want to put some behavior over here you can just come down to the behavior you can just drag let's say jump and drag and jump this one as well and once you try to go with the default you just play it and you will see both of them will jump continuously yeah i know I that kind of looks you spend a lot of uh, time nice with fantastic so it's all boils down to you what kind of creativity you want to bring into your video editing and footage you can just feel free to give it a try and see for yourself and explore and try it on your own I, so this is a bit about how to bring in behaviors into your media into your video editing uh, that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.